You know, sometimes you just gotta get some shit off your chest, so let me get this shit off my chest. So, I haven't really seen my oldest daughter for, ugh, shit, since she's been one and a half, and, um, she's ten now, if you didn't know, and I've been faithfully paying child support ever since, and, uh, it just sucks, because... Uh, yeah, her mom had problems up here in Illinois, and I, I get that. And so, one day she's like, hey, I'm fucking moving to Florida, and you're going to have to fucking deal with it. And that sucks. But since she's been down there... Um, She's been up here a few times to visit. And only one time I was really notified and I got to see my daughter. It was probably four or five at the time for about two hours. That sucks. It really does. I'm not a I'm not some criminal. I mean I'm not a felon. I'm just a You know, just a fucking dude that got the wrong wrong end, end of the deal. And, um, yeah. So, I like, I'm friends with her on Facebook, her mom. And it sucks. Because she has pictures of, like, I guess her stepdad is good. She got some father figure in her life. I hope she does. And, uh, it just sucks. Because, um, I'm nothing more than a paycheck. And that's what it really does come down to. I'm nothing more than a paycheck to her. And I bet since she's 10 and, and she's an adolescent, um, there's nothing I can do about that. I mean, if I inject myself into her life, I would be doing more harm than good. I would be causing a lot of confusion, in my mind. That's how I look at it. Um, and it's obvious I still really care about this kid. Um, but that's a, it's a one-way street. So I, I get to care about somebody that will probably hold some resentment over my head. And that's a fact. I can't deny that. And yet again, I get the raw end of the deal. I get a resentment for my hard work and effort. Something I have no choice over, really. I have no, I have no choice. Um, I get no thanks. I get no appreciation. I get, I get, I get jack shit. Nor do I want thanks or am I looking for that. It just, I'm just saying it would be nice. But the, these are things that come with adult life. And with, um, um, having a child with a woman that created a situation for herself that she couldn't deal with it anymore. So she had to go down to Florida and basically start over. <laughs> um, motherfucker. Basically start over. I mean, am I mad? at her because from what I know is I'm upholding the obligation of uh, paying child support to a kid I don't even get to talk to I don't even get to I don't even get to meet 
I mean, I still got her picture of really last last time I really even saw her, and that that that's gonna be a constant reminder. So. Try to do this video a few times. It just comes out in anger, and you really just gotta let that go. You gotta accept the situation for what it is. So, what do I gotta look forward to? Some satellite visions of pictures of, of um, you know. The beautiful daughter I have, yeah. Because if I, as I said, if I inject myself into her life, I'm, I'm essentially a stranger. That's hurt. I just did. So. If you ever watch this, just know your dad thinks about you. Fucking bugs. <laughs> your dad thinks about you. He still cares. Yeah. Just know I do I, I live up to my obligation. The day that you turn eighteen or graduate. Yeah. I'm not a monster. I'm just a person. And uh, hopefully, if you really want to meet me, just know I did what I had to do. It's real easy for the people around you to be like, you want to talk to your dad? Because I can't really come and see you. Because you're a sinner. Yeah, you're about 1,150 miles away. And things in life have limitations. You just can't get up and go. It's a 15 hour drive there, 15 hour drive back. Not to mention the money that it takes to get there, money that I don't have. Um, so yeah.